Hi, I'm Paige from Inzuzo, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create a privacy policy for your Shopify store. So head on over to Inzuzo.com, and in the top right corner, click Sign Up Free. Next, you're going to choose the privacy policy feature, and you'll be able to choose a plan that works best for your business, depending on your size. We also have a free plan, which is what we're going to continue on with right now. Next, you'll be entered into our privacy policy questionnaire where you're going to fill out the details about your business. And there's some different sections that you can check off. So you can, if you want to display your address, you can select that. You can add your email address and your phone number and contact name. Don't mind me moving my little circle around. Once you're done filling out the first section of details, you can click next. You can also choose the title of your privacy policy and you can enter that in here and you're able to select the style as well. We have three different, we have a drop shadow option, which looks like this. We have the border, which is the default. And then we have no styling at all. My favorite is the border. Then you're going to hit next. Now you're able to choose what regions you collect data from. So if you have customers in any of the following locations, then make sure that these are all checked off. And we also have a little disclaimer on the right-hand side, which will tell you what privacy law that, by checking off the box, you're going to comply with. So if you sell into the EU, then you would want to check this off, and then you will be compliant with GDPR. Once you're done filling out that section, you can finish off your privacy policy and you can create a free account in only a few minutes. It's very fast. We are going to go ahead and click continue with Shopify and we're going to enter in our Shopify store URL and hit go. I've already created my Inzuzo Shopify account. I've already installed the app, which is why I was brought directly to the dashboard. But if this is the first time installing Inzuzo, you will be redirected to the Shopify App Store screen where you're able to install the app for Shopify because we have a dedicated app. So once you're in, you'll be brought to the privacy policy settings page. And from here, you can go ahead and edit your privacy policy a little more if you'd like. We have a few more options that weren't included in the onboarding. Um, so they're all on the right hand side here. You can also style the button, your data request button, which is built in. You're able to style that with the colors of your choice. And we also have the ability to add custom CSS, but you will have to be on a paid plan to access that feature. So the other thing you can do is when you're on a paid plan, you can change the default language of your privacy policy. So if you prefer your privacy policy to be in French, for example, on the starter plan, you can actually change the language. So that's on the first, uh, the first tier plan. Once you're done configuring your privacy policy, you're going to click add to website. And what you're going to do is you're going to just copy this link. And then you're going to go and head over to your Shopify dashboard. Once you're in your Shopify dashboard, you're going to be adding the link to the footer of your website or wherever else you'd like to add your link to. So we're going to head over to the navigation section of Shopify and we're going to be adding it to our footer. So make sure you are clicked into the correct navigation menu. And we are going to click add menu item. We will call it privacy policy. And then we're going to paste the link. Make sure you actually click on this drop down. Make sure you select that to make sure that it works. And then we will click add. We're going to move it up to closer to the top and we are going to save menu. Let's make sure that it is reflecting on our store. So click on the view your store button. And if we scroll all the way down, we should see it there in the footer. If you're not seeing it right away, um, a pro tip is to hit command shift R if you're on a Mac, which will do a hard refresh. 
and sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the link to show up. And that is it. Now your privacy policy is added to your store and it's organized in a beautiful, readable way. And your customers can make a data request directly from your privacy policy, which will all be funneled into your Shopify dashboard. That is it for how to add a privacy policy to Shopify. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about your Inzuzo account, make sure to reach out to us at support at Thanks for watching.